on April 9th, last river volcano in St. Vincent and the Grenadines erupted for the first time in 40 years. Day by day, and with each passing moment, As a result of this eruption, over 20,000 people were displaced from their homes. They found refuge in the safe areas of the country, including Rillen Hill. In keeping with the teachings of Christ, we at the Rillen Hill Church of the Nazarene saw it as our Christian duty to respond in whatever way we could. Despite the economic impact of the COVID-19 pandemic, some of our members opened their homes and welcomed displaced people. As part of our compassionate ministry at our church, we distributed food packages from time to time to needy members of our community and church. Many of the members who contribute do so despite limited means. And so it is that when we do our part in faith that God responds. In June when we least expected it, but when the need was greatest, we received word that Ted and Natalie Comas had mobilized their brethren at Genesis Bible Fellowship Church in Baltimore in the United States. The number of barrels that we would receive from the members and friends of the Genesis Bible Fellowship Church increased to 10. They sent us food supplies, snacks, sanitary products, face masks, hand sanitizers, oral health products, hair care products, general health care products, medical supplies, and also Christian literature. This gift was very timely as we had had at our church a list of people who had appealed to us for assistance and so we were able to prepare over 50 packages, many of them individually packed to meet the needs of households who had sought our assistance. We distributed these food packages to people who had evacuated their homes and were seeking shelter in the safe zone. We also gave food packages to people who remained in the danger zone, as well as to vulnerable persons in and around our community and members of our church. God was not done blessing us yet, and in late July, we received four barrels from Reverend Patrick Reed and Cornerstone Baptist Tabernacle in Toronto, Canada. These barrels contained largely food supplies with which we were able to bless over 50 households. Today we say thanks to Ted and Natalie Comas and Genesis Bible Church in Maryland for your labor of love and being such a tremendous blessing to us. We also want to say thanks to Reverend Patrick Reed and Cornerstone Baptist Tabernacle in Toronto, Canada for your labor of love and for your tremendous blessing to us. We know that you have been affected by COVID-19 and you have your needs as well and maybe people in your community have, have needs that you could have ministered to but you choose to minister to us and we want to thank you for thinking about us and for being such a great blessing to us in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Like the widow of Zarephath in 1 Kings 17, you are selfless in your sacrifice and God will bless you for it. On behalf of the Ridden Hill Church of the Nazarene as pastor, and all the people who have received your blessing, we want to say thank you very much for allowing the Lord to use you to be such a blessing to us. May God continue to bless you and your church and prosper you in everything that you do. Blessings on you all. I just want to announce to you that we receive another, another miracle blessing. I had a call from a customs broker that they had two barrels for us. I, I didn't know who they were from, but God just moved on these people had to send the Real and Hill Church of the Nazarene two more barrels. They, it came, they came from the first community church of the Nazarene in New York. And from the coordinator is Sister Sonia Barton, NMI president, uh, there and Sister Taylor and team 
prepared a number of food packages that will be distributed this week. I told you some time ago there was another barrel that Pastor Chieftain Charles told me about. And they called me last week to tell me that that barrel is also in the customs and we're going to clear it. So we continue to see the power of God at work. And that is just the smoke. Amen. We're going to thank God for these people. We want to thank God and pray for them. Father, we pray for your blessings on the First Community Church of the Nazarene in New York and all the people that give and send those barrels to us. We pray that you will bless them. And all the others who gave, we pray that you would bless them. That they will never want for nothing. That, they will, that you will always be strong and mighty on their behalf. And we pray for a long relationship with them. That this relationship will go from strength to strength. And out of this relationship will come great things. So we thank you. And we ask that you will give us the wisdom so that we can really distribute them wisely. To the honor and glory of God. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. So I just want you to know that. And um, if you need a package in the church and you're here, you can feel free to speak to me, Brother Kenton, any board member, and we'll be happy to bless you. Amen? Amen? amen. God bless you. One by one. Yeah, he's